Well, in the early 2000s, Washington lawmakers fought to make sure sexual abuse couldn't be easily hidden by religious leaders, but no bills have passed making this happen. Washington has one of the nation's weakest mandatory reporter laws in the country. As of now, Washington clergy members are not listed as mandatory reporters of child abuse or neglect. Today, a bill was discussed in committee to change this. This bill, if passed into law, would require clergy members to report child ab abuse or neglect unless the information was obtained in a setting like confession. Our Bronte Sarotsky is live in Spokane tonight. She tells us why that exception was heavily debated in session today. Well, Kirsten, an amendment was actually brought up today to get rid of this exception. And some committee members say that they worry getting um, getting rid of it could be a First Amendment violation, while others say that they worry keeping it will continue to keep abuse hidden. The bill in its current form would allow for an exception to report abuse if a clergy member found out about it during confession. Right now, they face no legal consequences if they don't report suspected abuse. On the other hand, they're currently protected legally if they do give out information said during confession. The Second Amendment, Wickham 547, also sponsored by Representative Taylor, uh, removes the um, exception to the mandated re reporting requirement for members of the clergy for confessions. In an amendment to drop this exception had clear support and opposition. Um, we wanted to remove the, the privilege so that we can continue to protect the children, but also protect the First Amendment rights. Lawmakers in favor of dropping that requirement say they were inspired by their own experience as church leaders. We heard the message from our elders that we needed to circle the wagons, not to report the abuse. And the trouble is, that kind of message hides abuse, and it doesn't get children the help that they need. But other lawmakers say they worry that dropping the requirement could open doors, making confession less confidential, and prevent people from trusting the church. We're saying that, okay, so we're going into a confidential setting, which is, uh, you know, a confession with clergy, but it's only kind of confidential. When we lose the confidentiality. The amendment did pass, and the bill will move forward with it in place. Next, this bill will head to the House for hearing. Reporting live in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now.